Hey fellow crochet enthusiasts, today we are diving into the world where style and history meets needles and hooks. And what's our mission? Creating a fabulous crochet bralette. But before we unravel our yarn, let's take a little journey through the fascinating history of these undergarments. Did you know that bras in various forms have been around for centuries? Ancient Greek women used to wear a bundle-like garment known as the Apodesmos, but the real bra revolution began in the late 19th century. <laughs> Picture these corsets that laced women into hourglass shapes. While those corsets were quite the fashion statement, they were also quite the squeeze. Thankfully, as women's rights and fashion evolved, so did undergarments. Now let's fast forward to today, where comfort, style and self-expression are key. The crochet bralette is the epitome of modern boho chic fashion. With a crochet hook as our time traveling tool, we're going to create a piece that pays homage to the past while embracing the present. Crochet allows us to craft unique, comfortable and stylish bralettes that represent not just a piece of clothing, but a piece of history. With each stitch, we celebrate the journey from restrictive corsets to the freedom and fashion of bralettes. So grab your medium weight yarn, 2.5 mm crochet hook, dunny needle, scissors, and let's start crafting. First, let me show you how it looks like when it's complete. That was the front part and this is the back part. This one fits a size small to medium, but if you want to make it larger or smaller, I'll show you how to make adjustments in the tutorial. I've already done the first half, so I'm going to show you how to crochet the other half. They are completely identical to each other. We're going to begin by making a slip knot, so grab your yarn and wrap it around your finger twice. Then we're going to take our first loop and place it over our second loop. Then we'll take our second loop and place it over our loop, which was the first one originally. Then tighten the knot. Insert your crochet hook and tighten by pulling the short end of the yarn. Then we are going to make a foundation chain. So yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. You're going to chain enough chains to go from under your breast to your nipple. For me, I made 20 chains. Now I have 20 chains and I'm going to prepare for a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the chain. Pull the yarn into the chain. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the chain. Pull the yarn through the chain. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. You're going to double crochet in every stitch until the end of this row. I'll meet you there. In the last chain, I'm going to add another double crochet. Then I am going to chain one. And in the same stitch, I'm going to add two more double crochets. So that's my first one. And I'm going to add another double crochet in that same stitch. Now I'm working on exactly the opposite side. So I'm going to do one double crochet in every chain until the end of the row. Now 
don't forget to make a double crochet on top of the chain three that counted as our first stitch so row two you're going to begin by chaining three after you've chained three you're going to turn your work and prepare for a double crochet in the second stitch so the chain three is our first stitch so we're going to prepare for a double crochet in the second stitch but instead of going through both loops of the stitch you're only going to go through the loop at the back this leaves the front loop untouched it's a fun way to add ribbon effect to your project so go into the back loop only so you're going to back loop double crochet in every stitch until we reach the chain one space at the top where i have my chain one i'm going to insert two double crochets in that space so that's one i'm going to insert another one then I'm going to chain one and insert two more double crochets in that chain space. Go into the next stitch and make a back loop double crochet, just one. You're going to go down this row with one double back loop double crochet in every stitch. don't forget to double crochet on top of the chain three from the previous row because that chain three is our first row so the next row we're going to chain three and you're going to repeat that pattern of row one and two over and over again until you have enough coverage for your bust so i'm going to repeat that pattern I've done two rows, I'm going to repeat five more times. I now have seven rows. Now I'm going to do this square pattern on the brack up. So I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Then I'm going to chain an additional one and turn my work. The chain three is the first stitch. So you're going to prepare for a double crochet. You're going to skip one stitch and prepare for a double crochet in the third stitch. This time we won't double crochet on the back loop. We'll do a normal double crochet. So do a normal double crochet in the third, in the second stitch, chain one skip one stitch and do a normal double crochet in the next stitch so that is going to be our pattern chain one and then you're going to skip one stitch and do a double crochet in the next one so we'll do that till the top i'll meet you there so i landed on a double crochet but in case you landed with a chain one that's okay you're going to go into the top with a double crochet normally we were putting two double crochets into the top i'm only going to do one because i landed on a double crochet but feel free to add two double crochets chain two then two double crochets but for me here i feel like it looks better with one double crochet chain one then another double crochet in that chain space in the next stitch i'm going to add a double crochet like i did on the other side whatever i did on the other side i'm going to do the same thing on this other side after that i'm going to continue with the pattern of placing a double crochet skipping one stitch and going into the next stitch with a double crochet so i'll do that until the end of the row i'll meet you there i'm done with that row now i'm going to do this shell design on the bra to begin you're going to chain one then you're going to turn your work 
and in the first space you're going to place a single crochet and then in the second space you're going to place two double crochets that's my first one then a second double crochet then you're going to chain one and place two more double crochets in the same space so what that has done is create a shell design in the next space you're going to place a single crochet then in the next space you're going to add two double crochets then you're going to chain one and place two more double crochets that is going to be the pattern until the top of the cap so i'll meet you there I ended with a single crochet before the chain one space at the top but if you ended with a shell that's still okay you're going to go into the chain one space with two single with two double crochets then you're going to chain 100 for the straps so after you've chained 100 I'll meet you there So I've finished my 100 chains for the straps and I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. Then after that I'm going to go into every chain and place a single crochet. You're going to do that in every chain until the first chain that you made. So I'll meet you there. I finished my single crochets on the chains for the straps so in that chain one space on the bra cap I'm going to place two double crochets then I'm going to continue with my shell pattern which was in the next space I'm going to place a single crochet then in the other one I'm going to place two double crochets two double crochets and then I'm going to chain one and place two more double crochets in that space so I'm going to repeat the pattern of a single crochet in the next space then in the next space a shell until the end of the row I'm at my last square I'm going to place my last single crochet then I'm going to count my third chain on that square and place a single crochet and we are done with the bra cap don't cut off the yarn or anything next i'm going to show you how to make this bottom part of the top so for the bottom part of the top you're going to chain just enough to leave space in the middle for a back tie for me i chained 15 After I chained 15, I went into the second stitch from the hook and into the second stitch from the hook and I placed a single crochet. So I'm going to single crochet in every chain. I'll meet you at the first chain that we made. So I've made 14 single crochets and I'm going to place a single crochet on that border. I'm going to place one single crochet on that border. Then in that space, I'm going to place two single crochets. Then in the next space, I'm going to place two single crochets. So I'll be placing two single crochets in every double crochet row. That is just going to clean up the bottom part and help with the rest of the pattern I'm at the end of the row so I'm placing my last single crochet on that border I 
Next, we are going to chain three. Remember the chain three is our first stitch. Then I'm going to prepare for a double crochet on the second stitch. And then I'm going to be placing a double crochet on every stitch, a normal double crochet on every stitch until the end of the row. To begin the next row, we are going to chain three. Then I am going to add another chain and turn my work. So the chain three was our first stitch. The additional chain one was a chain space. So I'm going to skip the next stitch and go into the that stitch with a double crochet. Then I'm going to chain one, skip one stitch and go into the next stitch with a double crochet. So that is going to be the pattern until the end of the row. I'll meet you there. I am at the end of the row and I haven't ended with one double crochet stitch. I am going to end with two double crochet stitches and that's okay. If you end with one, that's okay. If you end with two, that, that's fine. To begin the next row, I'm going to chain three, chain an additional chain. Then I'm going to turn my work and skip the second stitch and place a double crochet on that space. So I'll be placing a double crochet on that space. Then I'm going to chain one and place a double crochet on the space from the previous row. So let's just say you didn't end with two double crochets like me let's say you ended with one double crochet if you ended with one double crochet at the end of your row this is what you're going to do you're going to chain three and then you're going to turn your work then in that first space you're going to place a double crochet you're going to chain one then you're going to skip the next stitch which is the double crochet from the previous row and place a double crochet on the space chain one and place a double crochet on the space. So that is going to be our pattern. That is going to create this mesh-like design at the bottom of the bra cup. I'm on my last space, so I'm going to chain one and place a double crochet on that last space. So prepare for a double crochet on that last space. But that's not the last stitch. You're going to count the third chain from that square and place a double crochet on top of that third chain. On that mesh design, if you have two double crochets on one end, you're going to have one on the other end. Like here, I have one double crochet on this end, and on this end, I'm, I have two. To begin the next row, I'm going to chain three. Then I'm going to add an additional chain and turn my work. Then I'm going to prepare for a double crochet. I'm going to skip one stitch and prepare for a double crochet on that space. So that is going to be the pattern. Chain one and prepare for a double crochet on that space. You're going to continue with this pattern until the end of the row. I'm at the last square. I'm going to prepare for a double crochet on that space. But that's not the last chain. You're going to count three on that 
square and place a double crochet on top of the chain three. I've already done three rows so I'm going to do 10 more rows of the mesh pattern. In total I'll have 13 but feel free to add more or even have less. You're free to do that so I'll meet you once you're done. I have completed my 13 rows and now we are going to do the edging at the bottom. It's going to be the same edging like on the bra cap. So just to show you the edging on the other piece. It's the shell design at the bottom. Just as side note, you can do as many rows but make sure you end at the front part of your top. You're going to chain one and turn your work. I'm going to place a single crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. Then in that space, I'm going to place a single crochet. Then in the next space, I'm going to place two double crochets. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to place another one. Then I'm going to chain one and place two more double crochets in the same space. Then the next space, I'm going to place a single crochet. Then the next one, I'm going to place two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets in the same space. So that's going to create that shell design and that's going to be the pattern until the end of the row just like the top of the bra cap um at my last square so i'm going to do my last single crochet but that's not the last stitch i'm going to count the third chain on that square and place a single crochet on top of that third chain so now we are going to work on this other side of the top where we are going to have loops where we'll place our straps for the back. To begin on the side, I'm going to place a single crochet on the first space. Then I'm going to take my bobby pin and put it in the last single crochet I made from the bottom design. So I know where I stopped. So in every space, I'm going to place two single crochets. That's my second one. And then in the next space right there, I'm going to place two single crochets. So I'll be placing two single crochets in every space. I'm done with my last two single crochets at the last space, but I'm also going to add a single crochet at the very top. To begin the next row, we're going to chain three. Then I'm going to turn my work. And I'm going to chain an additional three. So the first stitch is already accounted for. I'm going to place a double crochet on the fourth stitch. Then I'm going to chain three. I'm going to skip three, three stitches and place a double crochet on the fourth stitch. So that is going to be the pattern. Chain three, skip three stitches and on the fourth stitch place a double crochet. That will be the pattern until the end of the row. Next row, chain one, turn your work. And then in the first space or square, I'm going to place three single crochets. So that's one, two, and three. 
then i'm going to place a single crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row so that's going to be the pattern three single crochets in three single crochets in the space and a single one single crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row continue with the pattern and i'll meet you at the end of the row once you're at the last square you're going to place a single crochet on top of the chain three from the last square next chain 200 or make as many chains as you want for your back straps i've completed my chains i'm going to make a slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook then i'm going to make slip stitches in every chain until the first chain that we made so make slip stitches in every chain until the first chain that we made once you've completed making slip stitches on the chains you're going to place a slip stitch on the next stitch on the loops chain one and you're going to cut off your yarn we are almost done just to show you what we have so far so this is the bra cap and here is my bottom part i have seven squares on the back loops you're going to make a slip knot and after you've made your slip knot you're going to insert your crochet hook and you're going to chain 200 or 250 or as many as you want for the front tie this is me showing you how i put the straps for the front tie i began at the bracket but you can begin anywhere and i tied my straps the same way i tie my shoelaces and i didn't put the strap in every space like at the bottom part of the top i skipped one space then put a uh, then put my strap there but you can do this however you want And we are done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe to let me know you want more videos like this one. And follow me on social media at Not Kisses.